is Sibylla Hadailas, or Wayne Horse. I'm a, I used to be a all kind of things artist. I used to do videos and uh, performances and sculpture and drawing and painting and all this. And uh, a few years back, I focused a bit more on, on painting, which is what I do now almost exclusively. And uh, I live in Amsterdam for a very long time. And here I am. This is my. As an artist, yeah, I would never really say ended up. Like it's just, uh, I've always used this thing to help me in life as well. So um, if I ever would end up anywhere, it would be kind of a problem. So like what I expect of the things I do is that they will make me do new things that they kind of demand the next step the whole time and that's uh, at least for me like there is a piece that I like more and there's one that I like less but uh, as long as the work does that job then it's actually a good work that's uh, I, I don't like it when it ends in a dead end like then there's this one piece and after that okay so uh, let's close the book and now let's come up with a completely new idea I don't work like that like I'm, I'm not uh, like, I don't do the works like, like I'm cracking jokes from one to the next and like uh, how many names are there for oranges uh, what like a uh, the stand-up kind of thing no, for me it's more like a development like it's moving on the whole time and uh, I try to keep the machine running like also when I don't really feel like it I come here like an office worker and I, I do things at least from nine to five like that's my routine day and uh, this force kind of worked for me like I think I get more ideas by doing things without having an idea than by brooding over an idea and then planning it out and then making it completely boring by like doing it all secure. So I just shoot in every direction and then see what gets hit and what's worth the while. Of course, like I live in a world, so like uh, through that. I see things that interest me, that bother me, so I will react to those things and I will filter them however through myself and put them out in my work. That's like the, like the content driven thing. But at the same time, like and for me, almost more important is like the artistic development, which is like, it's a bit more in the shape and like for a long time I was searching for um, a way to paint or draw that will match the content that I'm doing because for, for a while that was completely not the case and then I thought like why the hell am I drawing this thing if a photograph would be a million times better so I had to kind of change the feeling of the drawing and like make it um, something that like uh, tells just as much as the idea like or contrasts it but at least does something with it and uh, <clears throat> topic wise I'm, I'm very much uh, concerned, I don't know if concerned or fascinated with uh, like obviously like living in the first world and knowing there's all the other worlds and like kind of wanting to do something but it's so tough to get out of your own thing and like you still would like to have this fucking cafe whatever to go and it's a bit of a pain to also carry a cup or something like this is like a shitty example but like there's so many little things we could always do we kind of don't do and uh, then also like this whole like we lost religion in a way yeah like uh, I mean there, there was religion to control the masses we have like this new thing which is doing the same job in my opinion is like this kind of uh, individuality and celebrity cult and all this uh, make the most of yourself and succeed and like this this whole stuff uh, fascinates me a lot like especially because it goes also like in complete uh, opposite direction with the like kind of looking out for for people who are less well off than you if you are busy to like eliminate your competitors you know like you can't really be everywhere and 
I have the feeling this got very strong. Like everybody is a coach now. Nobody's actually doing stuff. Like it's also like you're building things more and more on nothing. And like the the the, the foundation that anything stands off is just getting very 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 thin and uh, like unfounded. And uh, yeah, it's interesting. Like it's kind of like the game of how far can we can we push it before things really break. It's not that I'm going to solve this issue. I'm like really big, big part of the well, big part, but I'm part of the problem. <laughs> but uh, I, I just um, I have the need to somehow deal with it for myself, and like, then maybe people can also see it and think, oh, this girl has big tits or whatever, or they think, oh man, like this is pretty fucked up. But uh, I, I don't have control of what people make of the works, but like I, I make the works, yeah. Um, I've always been a drawer, basically, been doing drawings, and um, I wouldn't have considered myself a painter until maybe a year ago, because it was like even when I made like a big scale works or something, I would find myself uh, some mixture of acrylic and ink and like basically use that, uh, even if I use brushes or whatever. But like it was, it's all about the line. Like my work was always all about the line. So in that, I don't see a big difference in between the acrylic works and the ink works. That's, that's still the same, like it's this uh, kind of a handwriting that I developed in painful years full of failure. But uh, I have the feeling I have it now, like the drawing I feel very comfortable in. And that's the, the ground of anything that I do. Like that's, the, that's also under this one, there is a blind drawing, there's like an ink. Like not ink, like then I just uh, water down, like thin down the oil to have like enough fluidity enough. But like the drawing is still like it's the backbone of everything I do. Uh, the oil got introduced into my practice when I met Philipp Müller, is uh, an artist from Austria, and uh, we did um, a show together, like the, his gallery. Carbon 12 and my gallery, Harlem Levy Projects in Brussels. They decided to do a joint show, or like we decided all together to do a joint show with him. And I didn't know him before, but we decided on the phone if we do a collaborative show, we're going to really collaborate, like that means create works together and not just hang works back to back. And uh, so I visited him in Austria and had like a bunch of very difficult days in which I couldn't wait to get back to paint stuff in ink and do things quickly and all that. And then at some point, when I let loose a little bit more, and also kind of looking at what Philip is doing and seeing like how is he dealing with all this, all of a sudden I, I felt that the oil is, is also doing a job by itself. Like you don't, like, when I do the black and white drawing, I'm in control in a way. Like I mean, I kind of do it, uh, like a controlled loss of control, but I'm, I'm the I'm very clearly the boss of that situation. Like I'm, I have the confidence. And oil was completely different. And oil is also stronger and has like so many more uh, possibilities and, and things it does by itself. So I think it was the fourth day of like trying to somehow make sense of painting when I did a few faces. And I was pretty frustrated, so I was kind of just staring around in it a little bit. And then all of a sudden there was like something that looked at me and it wasn't exactly what I planned to make, but it was something I thought was pretty alive. And uh, then I was hooked. It was like a, it was like when I was 10 years old and I got the first Super Nintendo system or something. I we just painted all day, like forgot to eat and things like this. It was like a, like a rush. And that's still what I really like about oil. Like it's a, for me, it's I don't know if it's really a decision. Like now I make an oil painting. It's just like okay, I apply another layer on top of what I do anyway. Mm -hmm. And uh, it also just and this sounds a bit weird, but it gives me the opportunity to work because my other technique, I'm so confident in it that nothing ever takes longer than tops one hour, and I have like a, a long studio day. So I do enjoy to sit on a piece and like that also like that, that these things take like sometimes two months or something to finish and uh, so through that 
you spend much more time in this world, and maybe you get smaller ideas and things that uh, like things grow out of the painting. Like there's there's more of a reacting to what is there again. Like the the work process is, is more um, equal in between work and, and, and myself forcing myself on the work than it is in, in ink. That said, I do ink drawings every day to um, uh, keep myself. Uh, yeah, they have an influence on my painting because I would like to make like paintings as blunt and stupid as this thing is. And this thing also because uh, this in itself, this object is just what it is. Like it's uh, it's a cat with a dick on it, like a long uh, what's the English word for this? Uh, uh, baseball cap. Uh, shade the shade yeah um, but like then comes the person who's going to purchase and wear this hat right <laughs> yes and like I don't know if that is alike uh, like but I find that somehow interesting I mean I, I bought this yeah yeah I, I am that person but like uh, but that is like of course uh, like then I think Often the person is like on a, um, uh, like a bachelor's holiday or something like this. Like, fair enough, but I do like the cheap shit, loud jokes. Like I like the, the, the dumbness. I, if I if I would know how to deal with this immediately, I wouldn't have to make any of these paintings. Of course. But it, it remains my uh, like. Pandora's box, this hat. The nose, I like that because uh, I do like cartoons and comics, and it's it's a funny nose. Uh, that, like you say, that's uh, completely not in my control. Uh, I have the option to indicate a bit for the viewer with the title i think that's always like it's a, it's an outside piece by the piece but it gives like a, a viewpoint like from where you can look at this painting but not everybody is obliged to, to read the title even uh, the pro of course is that uh, people get to see it when i started it also i thought for me it was a way to um, i was back then it's not anymore the case, but I was very uh, particular about my ideas. And I, through that I had the feeling I always had proof okay, I thought this at this point, because I made this post, so then if I see something similar later, I can say what I thought at first. Like, <laughs> <laughs> thought. But, so that was in the beginning uh, a part of it. That was uh, long ago, that was 2014. And uh, yeah, I think it did help me quite a bit lately, like just because uh, you get more exposure, people see it, and like some things come off it. Like uh, I think also like lately I made quite some sales just through Instagram, but mostly it's, it's more like if you do a print, for example, or like you just have like a bit of a following that uh, is, is interested in your stuff, and that's that's nice. I also like for a while that uh, like I put every morning something. And uh, it was just like a little task, and I had to kind of come up with like back in the day when I still wrote witty comments and all this. <laughs> so now it's only like, oh, thank God it's Friday or some shit. <laughs> but like uh, back then, I came up with like some sayings and all this, and it was a little bit of an intellectual task connected to it. Yeah. And like, the negative, obviously, is that it's uh, spending time and that. Uh, I look at too much stuff I really don't care about. And yeah, but otherwise it's it's there and I find it like this I'm mildly ashamed about what I do on there and, but I'm also enjoying the fruits of what I do in there. So I just see it as part of the